Oh, good morning. Could you um, sign here, please? No. Right. Thanks. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Have a nice day. Dear Tony, I think it right that you should have the attached, and perhaps you'll find it an interesting, if painful, memento of long ago. Mrs. Ford's will describes the item as a diary. The diary. It's currently with Mrs. Ford's daughter. Veronica. Hello. Hello, Anthony. Veronica and I were together. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Exactly, yeah. Then in my school days, I met my best friend. <laughs> Tony Webster. I made you in Finn. Not long after, Veronica formed a relationship with him. And I wrote them both a very nasty letter. What do you think you'll find in the diary? This is horrible. My best friend mysteriously died. Who's to blame? For this event. Something is certainly going on. What is it? What was going on? You're on your own now. What you end up remembering isn't always what you actually witnessed. It was an accident. Legally? Yes. Morally, no. So what were you doing there? We may never know the truth. Are we going to address the fact that almost everything you've told me in the last few days, you've told me for the very first time? What really strikes me is your total inability to see what's right under your nose, such as your daughter. How often do we tell our own life story? And do we adjust, embellish, make sly cuts, and create a new reality? And when everything was coming off the rails, how were we to know that our lives are entwined? Forever.